what's up guys, game there and welcome back to Pro Cyber 2022 for present number 65 of the Canon Del Garmin career mode. In today's episode, we shall begin the Tour de France or the Hannibal race as it is now called. It will begin with a time travel in Cartagena and we'll wrap up the end of the episode at the end of the first week. Uh, we stayed in between Nîmes and Mont, we'll have two mountain stages between Vic and Valterra dos Mil and Limo in the Pic de Nord, it should be quite interesting to see. If you've missed the previous episode of the National Championships, I would highly recommend to go ahead and watch it, but if you have done so, then let's just go. And it is time for us to start this Tour de France um, with obviously bad news at the very start. Uh, Brian McNulty, former Tour de France winner and my leader ahead of this, uh, this tour, Unable to participate following a crash in uh, the uh, American road race, meaning that my GC hopes are basically null and void. Um, yes, but Jorgen Nordhagen is my best climber with 75. Um, I decided to bring Matthew Ricciatello in uh, to to replace the uh, the injured Brian McNulty. Um, but we'll have a team axed for the sprints, which is not something I've had throughout the, the seasons of Canada Garmin with Zoran Verenschold trying to uh, maximize his wins and swap the green jersey of Colonel Garmin for the green jersey of the Tour de France. Uh, alongside him, we have Kevin Vermarke, Joel Suter, who's come back from injury, Matthew Rich Teller, who's out of shape, but I needed to have someone. Nordhagen, the recent Norwegian road champion, Hugo Hull, former Giro winner, Alexandre Balmer, the new Swiss champion, and Stefan Kung, the time trial champion of Switzerland, so it is a decent lineup nonetheless. Um, and another that sees Zoran Verenschel taking P3 in Cartagena, Johan Price Peterson already in P1. My chance of win today comes from this man here, Mr. Stefan Kung, the uh, Swiss champion. It's a zero, meaning it's an 84 time trial, which is more than adequate uh, to win, but time trials have never been uh, where I excel in this game. There's not many places where I excel in this game. Sprints on my forte, time trial on either. Um, I guess creating chaos would be where I uh, I thrive. We're currently in the same second as uh, Johan Price Peterson at the uh, IS or the intermediate time, should I say, the IT. I'm worried I may have lost slightly too much energy in uh, in the first part of the time trial. We're gonna have less than uh, two kilometers to do with Mr. Stefan Kung, Remy Cavagna, second P2 in Cartagena. It is Nielsen Paulus in the, the lead, the American for uh, for Tudor Banke, aiming for uh, his first ever yellow jersey and the first yellow jersey, the first yellow jersey of Tudor. I I stuttered. Stefan Kung didn't. P1 for now for Stefan. And I think if this man doesn't beat me, I think Stefan will wear the uh, yellow jersey of the Tour de France, and I think he will. Juan Ayuso is doing what? Juan Ayuso is in is only three seconds behind me. That's 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 crazy. Today uh, he's behind. Good. We may have lost Brian McNulty. We still have Stefan Kung, our Swiss hero is here and he gets the first yellow jersey of the Hannibal race. I think the good thing of not having a GC leader means that I can actually focus on alternate classifications uh, and I for once will genuinely try to fight for both Polka and Green. Final 6 kilometers of this stage, um, Nordagen did manage to get every point in the breakaway. Uh, there was a sprinter who actually bullied me which was quite surprising. I didn't think a sprinter could beat me, at least not on the second cat. Uh, on the others, I would have understood. On the, the second cat, I was a bit more skeptical. Um, Verenschold is losing positions there, which is quite sad. Balmer's gonna stop his efforts. Where's Zoran? Okay, he's there. 2.4k, they've launched really early. Olaf Koy is the lead out man. Wait, hold up. Hugo dropped Joel Suter. What? What just happened? How did... Hugo will drop Joel Suter. That doesn't make sense. It stage one and things are already weird. Uh, my quest of uh, getting the uh, Polka jersey starts with a minus two on Mr. Nordhagen. That's just just that's just phenomenal. It's just great. Um, I actually planned on sending Stefan in the breakaway alongside Mr. Nordhagen, um, doing what Van der had done. We'll follow the uh, Polka jersey. That's the guy, the uh, Uruguayan sprinter from JVL, Mr. Camejo. Alright, they don't follow me. That's good. I th I'm hoping I can send Nordhagen as well. It's yet another weird stage. The, the peloton um, is pacing quite strongly uh, with 70 kilometers left and mostly no breakaway. Um, so I'm very much curious to understand the strategies that the AI have uh, put in place in the uh, Puerto de Cura. 
and it's not only Van Purple pacing, it's been many teams. Um, actually, it was mostly. Uh, oh, actually, wait, hold up. Nordagen, go 99, brother. 99, 99, 99, 99. I'll take P2, thank you. That's uh, some more points for uh, Nordagen. But yeah, the, the Peloton's behavior is it's quite weird. Final 7 kilometers. Um, most of my team has been dropped. I'm, I'm really trying to hold on with uh, with Stefan Kunger in the uh, Cap de Vignette. But it's difficult, it's difficult. The rhythm at the front is really high. And Marco Brenner is going to attack to make it even higher. I'll try and pace as much as I can with Stefan, trying to really stay with this group here alongside the likes of Valentin Madouas and, and uh, Enric Mas. Primus Roglic showing uh, some signs already of, um, of fatigue, which is not good. Far from ideal, actually, for the uh, Slovenian rider yet to win a Tour de France, and I don't think he ever will. If he's already showing this kind of... Um, of strength or lack of, should I say, it's it's impossible to be at the front. It is impossible to be at the front here in the uh, Shiva de Morella, the final climb. Three kilometers average gradient of 7.7. .7. Stefan is still with everyone, but the question is for how long? How long can he stay in this group led by uh, Tali Pogacar and Ben O'Connor makes a move? Come on, son. Come on, Stefan. Try to hold on, brother. Try to hold on. We'll go with uh, an 84 rhythm. Jesus Christ, Tali Pogacar has murdered everyone. And he's on his way to claim his first win of this Tour de France. Battle between Yates, Gautu, Vingegaard, Giuseppe Aliotti, no Giovanni Aliotti, sorry, trying to uh, to fight for um, for the podium, he's going to get blocked. Stefan has exploded. All right, well, the GC is already well and truly opened after three days. Back to the sprints, it's a plus two for Mr. Verenschuld. Uh, it is also the Polka jersey for Jorgen Norhagen. The question is, how long can he retain it? It's not a bad day. For the Norwegian rider, no breakaway for him today, uh, nonetheless. So he's going to be able to rest and recover. Suter with a plus one, 74 fitness though. No ideal. And uh, Verenschold, 82 sprints. Come on, son. I just need one good sprint from you. That's all I need. We've entered the final 10 kilometers of this stage between uh, Tortosa and El Vendrel. Once again, sprinting for Zoran Verenschold. I'm trying to be at the front of this group, but the, the train of... Zwift is ridiculous. Yanni Moscon, Clément Russo, Mac Tennyson, Tish Benot, and then you've got Olaf Koy and Caleb Ewan. Shouldn't be allowed to have this good a train. It just should not. Uh, meanwhile, I'm trying my hardest not to get blocked here. We use the gel. Zoran is in prime position for once. The question is, can he be in prime position until the end of the sprint? I'm not sure. It probably won't be the case. Joël Suter takes the lead. There goes Joël Suter. We've been slightly dropped here by uh, Arnaud Delis. And, uh, I mean, you've got Tim Merli as, as your lead out. That's just not fair. It's a win for Wout van Aert ahead of Zoran Verenschold with a late comeback. Mohamed Marpoul in P3, Arnaud Delis and Caleb Ewan. Okay. There's, there's, there's some positives to take here. Yet another sprint stage. Another chance for Zoran with the minus one this time. Um... Hugo with plus three, Vermark with plus three, Kung plus two. We'll try and lead out the team in a way that is better than yesterday. I think we did well until the moment where Team Merlier started his effort. And shock, a lead out of Team Merlier is better than a lead out of a crippled Joel Suter. We're approaching uh, Rijona, and it's quite an interesting and tricky stage so far because we've only got 80 riders left in the peloton. Um, most of the peloton got split following the IS in Silth. Uh, and it meant that, uh, well, even for me, it's a bit of a struggle because Alexandre Balmer is currently being blocked behind Arne Maritz and some other riders. Only Zoran Verenschold has managed to take the wheel of the former yellow jersey Stefan Kung. We've got some accelerations there with Sylvain Monique and Rini Cavagna. Alexandre, mate, I beg you, just take the wheel. That's that's just not difficult. You're in clean air. You, you've got DRS and everything. Matthew Richardo is going to block me by getting water. I'm pretty much convinced of it. Perfect, right? Moving on to Alexandre Balmer. Stefan King is going to step aside. We've managed to recover a somewhat adequate train and somewhat competent train. We're going to launch Mr. Balmer. It's quite far from the line, I'm aware, but it's better than nothing. There goes Hugo Hull. Why am I sprinting with Hugo Hull? He's got three acceleration. Verenschel with 1k to go. It's going to be in the pack. It's a win today for Mohamed Mahmoud. Yeah, I, I need to invest in the better train. I need to invest in the better train, because at this point, uh, there's, there's no fun. It's P5 for that. It's P5. The first mountain finish of this Tour de France, Valter 2000, where 
Roglic was crowned a few days ago uh, ahead of Remco Evenepoel. No, no, it was Giulio Ciccone, I think, that was crowned atop Valtteri dos Mil in uh, La Volta a Catalunya. We've got a plus five on Hugo and Alexandre Balmer, and the good thing is they both have a fitness peak, so they will go in the breakaway alongside the Polkadot jersey of Jesper Nordhagen. Um, I know it's Jorgen, I'm going to keep on calling him Jesper for a reason I do not know. That's just going to be the way it is. But, yeah. Nordhagen, Balmer, Hugo in the breakaway, what could go wrong? And it's uh, it's been a very difficult stage and sadly for us, this marks the end of it. Patrick Conrad is going to bully Alexandre Balmer into an early retirement by the looks of things. We're going to catch the um, Austrian rider, but we have no energy whatsoever to try and, um, and stay with the, the rider of Mercedes, AMG Petronas. I'll try and just follow his wheel in case of an attack, yeah, which he does again. And he's going to drop me once again. There we go. I, I, well, Balmer, at least do something. Either get dropped or like don't, but do things fully. The peloton is further down. I'm not sure whether they'll catch. They probably will, to be fair, in uh, Valter vs. Mille. So yeah, the stage is now uh, nearing its end for me. And I did not think that Balmer would take P1 uh, at this climb here. Conrad with 40 points already in the classification. That's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, oh, I love the fact that most of my team is, is dropped in small groups here and there. Um, I'll drop you go to, uh, to Nordhagen. Come on, son. But yeah, Balmer, Conrad in the lead, then Madoas, then we've got Brenna, Vingegaard, and then a 21 man group. This, again, very fun stage to do. This is a good thing about having new races in the calendar. It just. No one has raced them before because they're not in the game, so you have to actually search for them on the internet. And they very rarely disappoint. Darhenley Bridges with us. And that is it for Alexandre Balmer's hopes of winning in Valter dos Mil today. Time for a break with Alexandre. Time to move on to the next stage. I mean, look at the gaps already. They're, they're ridiculous. We've got a top three. Simon Yates is doing very well, actually. Did not think he'd be at this level. But the gaps are already massive. Henrik Mas losing more than four minutes today. Ridiculous. Stage number seven, good days all around. It's uh, it's time for yet another Cannondale breakaway. Patrick Conrad is in a ridiculous shape because uh, he single-handedly managed to bully me despite having Google and Nordhagen in the break. I've, I've, I've rarely seen this. I really have very rarely seen this. Well, the final climb of the day, the Pic de Nord, 8.7 kilometers, average gradient of 7.8, and unlike yesterday, the breakaway will win today because the peloton sits uh, quite far behind. They are uh, more than 11k to go, they're, they're 3 kilometers behind us, so I'm pretty sure that we will take the win. The question is whether it shall be Patrick Conrad or Mr. Alexandre Balmer. Uh, Conrad didn't relay for a bit, meaning that the breakaway is only now 1 minute 50 ahead of this man there. That's that's Tadej that Pogacar. And, and one can safely say that he's quite good. The stage may not be in the breakaway today. I'm literally giving everything I've got with Alexandre Balmer. I've been pacing 86. Oh, and we're going to make Conrad explode. Conrad is going to break. Tadej Pogacar will not take the stage. Alexandre Balmer wins at the Pic de Nord and gives Canandel Garmin their second win here on this Tour de France. Despite a late comeback by Conrad, Balmer takes it. Bit of a sprint stage after following, after following, following Mr. Balmer's win. Let's try to... Uh, one of that by getting a win with Zeron Verenschal, shall we? It's a lot more difficult to win a sprint stage with an 80-rated sprinter than a mountain one with a 74-rated guy. Bit of a mistake here on my end, uh, already using the gel on my riders. I got confused and I missed the uh, 5k barrier for the 10-1. Well, actually the other way around. But it's, uh, it's fine, it's all good. We'll try and launch the sprint no matter what. Um... Oh, I've just realized that my train is uh, is in a bit of a, of a shit order here. Could I could I do a late swap? I will go for a, a very late swap here of, uh, of Google and, uh, and Nordhagen, because otherwise I am absolutely fucked. We'll try and go 99 with Hugo, a bit of a, of a, um, of a false flat here, which benefits me in a way that the sprinters aren't going to start their efforts. But in another way, it doesn't really benefit me, because it means I'm going to use my energy quicker than the others. Nordhagen... Verenschold is in P1, come on son. It's uphill to the line, uphill to the line. I think I've launched slightly too early. Caleb Ewan, Arne Maritz, Jasper Philipson. I actually haven't launched too early. I've launched when, when needed. Uh, it's P4 on pure pace, which I'll take. 
Except that I've lost to a guy with 79 spirit. Final state of the episode. Uh, plus 5 for Igul, plus 4 for Balmer, and 8. <laughs> what is this profile? What is this tour? Every single difficult stage so far has been nuts, right? This one is, is mental. The one we've had in stage 7, that was mental. That, that was alright, but still kind of mad. This one, mad. This is a ridiculously difficult tour. Again, the rhythm. Completely mental. 32 riders left in this first group. And I'm having to fight to stay in that group. Carabas got dropped. That's that's the pure example. Like the pace is absolutely out of this world. Uh, Balmer still in the first group. I tried to keep him in so I can get the mountain points. Uh, it's not working so far. Conrad is still untouchable. We'll try and make it work in the next climb. I don't know. I thought that the peloton would uh, use this valley-ish portion to recover. Again, I'm wrong, uh, because this is where the peloton decided to pounce on the move. Mini, Yates, Mass, and Ayuso threw others already far behind in the general classification. They're trying uh, an attack. 5k to go until we uh, reach the end of the stage here in Monde of the uh, di Monte de l'Orange à la Berre. Balmer is there. At this point, I, I got some points, which is quite nice. I didn't expect to get anything more out of this stage. When I saw the breakaway was go up, so I'll just let the peloton do their thing and I'll uh, try and fight for 24th. Enric Mas claims the stage ahead of Auto Vingegaard, who takes the jersey because Mr. Pogacar has lost for the first time in this um, in this Tour de France. Who was third in the GC? Oh, David Gaudio was third. Well done to him. We're gonna lose, yeah, two more minutes, but that's fine. We don't we don't really care. Uh, it's gonna be a top 20 as well, which is promising for Alexander. And here are the podiums, after 9 stages, uh, it's Henrik Maas through grasses and bushes who takes the stage between Nîmes and Mande. GC-wise it means that Vingegaard leads by 22 seconds on Tadej, and Buitrago is already 13 minutes behind after 9 stages. Ridiculous. When it comes to the, mo the mountain classification, Conrad leads 76 points, Murdoch 51, Balmer 41. I'm gonna struggle to get Mr. Conrad. I'm really gonna struggle to get Mr. Conrad here. Points wise, Mohamed Mahmoud is the uh, leader. Would he be the first African rider to win the green jersey? I'm gonna guess he would be. I don't think Guillermo is 1A in the game. Zoran stands in P5, he's not too far off. He's only one stage win of the um, Egyptian rider. When it comes to the best young rider classification, that's Juan Uso. And the best team is Voxy by Vodafone. We are not there. And that just about wraps up today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please do leave a like down below. If you want to see the rest of the Hannibal race, then do feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, if you actually enjoyed the race and the parkour, then do let me know as well in the comments. Uh, that always motivates me into trying to find new races or removing races or adding races, blah, blah, blah. So do let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the very near future for episode number 66 of the Canada Come and Career Mode. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the phone.